Today's video, we're talking about anabolic steroids and kidney disease. And if you are gonna use anabolic steroids, how to protect yourself so that hopefully you won't get any kidney damage, but we're not recommending that. We're always telling people you should never use anabolic steroids. So that's what today's video is about. This is Robert Galarowitz from HealthyKidneyInc.com, where we empower you with information to help your kidney health. So let's get into it. So I, uh, I worked with a nephrologist for eight years, and every so often we see cases of athletes and bodybuilders coming in, or you know, amateur bodybuilders, or really just your regular run-of-the-mill men who are uh, using steroids generally to get bigger, to get bigger muscles or to increase their sports performance. And so we would see people that came in every once in a while with kidney damage every couple months or so. Usually we can recover the kidney damage because what happens with anabolic steroids is that you develop a nephrotic syndrome where you have a lot of protein in the urine and you can even develop an autoimmune nephrotic syndrome like FSGS, uh, but you develop a lot of protein in the urine, kidney damage, and that damage could continue happening if you don't stop the steroids. So most people are able to get them in a much better place, stabilize things as long as they uh, got rid of the, the steroids and whatever else they were doing, and some people you couldn't. So, you should never do steroids, never, ever, ever, but if you are going to do them, okay, you want to follow a couple guidelines, and we're going to talk about a couple supplements you can use. First off, make sure you're seeing a medical doctor, okay? Even though you're, you're if you're doing them illegally, you still should see a medical doctor. There's a lot of doctors out there that'll just monitor you. Make sure you're not really harming yourself and they can see things early on. So you might not feel anything as your kidney functions declining, but they can see it in blood work sooner and you can be on top of it. You can take aggressive measures and do whatever you need to do. So see a medical doctor. Most of them, okay, a lot of them will be open to just seeing you as long as you just tell them what you're doing to just monitor you and make sure you're not really gonna hurt yourself. Okay, so second off, uh, hydration, lots of water, lots and lots of water, okay, especially while you're doing steroids. We have a couple herbs you can take. One is milk thistle. So milk thistle has been an herb around for hundreds of years, okay. Traditionally known for liver health, but does a great job with kidney health too. So you're going to get two benefits with milk thistle. You're going to protect your liver, which is an issue with steroids, and you're going to also help your kidney. You're going to protect your kidney. So you want to use an extract, milk thistle extract, and you want to use somewhere around 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams, at least 1,000. If you're a big, a big person, a big dude, uh, or hopefully, you know, if you're a lady, hopefully you're not doing steroids, but if you are and you're a bigger lady, you should go to that 1,500 milligrams. When I say bigger, I'm talking 180 pounds in that area or more. Uh, pills come in 300 milligram extracts, 500 milligram extracts. You generally won't find higher than like 500. So get in that 1,000 to 1,500 milligram area. Uh, curcumin, which is shown to help protect against a variety of toxic substances. We have a whole video about curcumin. You can check that out. You want to make sure you're getting turmeric extract, which is then curcumin. Okay, so turmeric is a spice, spice from India. The extract of that is curcumin, and you want that 1,500 milligram area. If you want to learn more about curcumin, just check out our other video. We'll include a link down in the description section. Uh, CoQ10, a great antioxidant. We got a whole video about that too. Wonderful kidney support. 400 milligrams a day. Okay, it's a high dose, but if you're going to do steroids, you want to, you want to really throw everything, uh, throw a good dose of CoQ10, throw a couple things at your kidney health to help protect yourself. So 400 IUs once a day. And then vitamin E, you want to get vitamin E, okay, 400 IUs, hopefully with some mixed cough rolls because there's a lot of different parts to vitamin E. Um, make sure it's D-alpha to cough roll, not D-L, okay, D-L to cough roll. If you look on the back label, you'll see what type of vitamin E it is. Most will be D-alpha to cough roll. That's the natural one. D-L, alpha to cough roll that you'll find. That's a synthetic one. That's not the one you want. Make sure you get that uh, D-alpha tocopherol uh, with some mixed uh, tocopherols or tocotrienols. Depending where you go, whatever formula you have, but you can always get a 400 IU, one pill twice a day. So those four supplements, really good to take. Hydration and make sure you see a medical doctor. And if you watch this video 
uh, and you're thinking about doing steroids for whatever reason, for your sports performance, to get bigger muscles, don't do it. It's not worth it. Uh, generally, a few years down the line, when you're a little older, you, these things aren't as important as they were before, and you can really cause some long-term harm and damage to yourself. Uh, but unfortunately, if you just say, hey, I'm going to do it anyway, take some precautions like we mentioned in this video, and to your best kidney health, everyone.